This introductory lesson is about points, lines, and planes. Points, lines, and planes are the basic building blocks for geometry. All the other figures in geometry are defined using points, lines, and planes. Therefore, points, lines, and planes aren't really defined. We can't define them using other terms. So we just we assume that everybody can accept points, lines, and planes as intuitive ideas. And we'll use those to build all of the geometric figures. The most basic building block is a point. A point is just a representation of a position in space. It actually has no size. We may use a, a, a dot, a single point on paper that has size to represent a point, but that's just a symbol. And we'll name a point with a capital letter. So that would be point P. Um, although that dot has space, actual points have no real size. They're merely a conceptual position. A line, then, is a collection of points that extends infinitely in two directions. By definition, a line is straight. It has no thickness, even though we draw it um, as a collection of points that have a certain thickness when we represent it on a page, it actually has no thickness. Um, and the way that we name a line is, we'll, well, we can call it um, usually name the whole line with a lowercase letter, like line L, or we can name it with any points, any two points on the line, since any two points determine a line. So the way we would say line AB is we would put the symbol with the arrows uh, going each way over the A and B, and we could call that line AB, or we could name that line BA. And if there were more points that we had labeled on that line, we could use those. We could use any two points. And a plane is a two-dimensional flat surface. And like you could think of a desktop or a floor or a wall or a computer screen. And it also, like a line, extends infinitely in all directions and has no thickness. So we may represent a plane with um, a drawing like this. In reality, there is no thickness to a plane. And uh, there's also no real edges to a plane. We draw a plane like it's a finite uh, size, but in, in actuality, the plane extends infinitely in all directions. So we name a plane usually with uh, a capital letter. So I could call this plane R. Uh, or with three or more points that are on the plane. So if I put three points, say I put points A, B, and C, on this plane, on the surface of the plane, I could call this um, plane ABC. And the ABC could be in any order. Uh, and those are the three basic building blocks of geometry. OK, continuing on with more terminology, we have space. Space is the set of all points. So think three-dimensionally, the set of all possible points like the inside of a classroom, is space. Collinear. Collinear says what it is. If I have points, and I can put a straight line through all of those points, then those points are collinear. If I have points that I cannot put one straight line through them, even if I can put them through some of the points but not all of them, then they are non-collinear. So as an example, I could not put, there isn't one line I could put through all of those points. Coplanar means points that are all on one plane. So if I have three or more points that um, I can pass one plane through, all three points or more, then those points are coplanar. Now any two points, um, you can put a, an infinite number of planes through any two points. So we have to have three or more points that we can put um, past one plane through, and those would be called coplanar. Now, non-coplanar points, let's put a couple on this plane down here, draw these coplanar points, and then I'll float one point up above. And um, although through any three of those four points I could pass a plane, uh, because of this point up here, I would say is not coplanar, 
with the other three. So the four points are non-coplanar. Okay, last thing we'll look at is intersections of geometric figures, of these basic figures. So first of all, if we have two lines, so say here we have line A and line B, and they intersect, what do they intersect in? Well, they intersect in a single point. So I would say that two lines intersect, lines A and B intersect at point P. So two lines intersect in one point. So next we have the intersection of a line and a plane. And when a line and a plane intersect, they also intersect in a single point. So think of a, a sword or something straight passing, you know, piercing through a piece of paper or a pencil piercing through a piece of paper. Uh, the intersection of the line, uh, in this case line A and plane R, um, we would call, you know, we could call point P. And then lastly, we have the intersection of planes. So you can think of it as the floor um, intersecting with a wall. And what's, the, what's created when those two intersect? Well, two planes, any two planes, intersect in a line. So we could draw this line here. Um, in this case, let's say line A um, is the intersection formed by plane M and plane N. So the part that might be visible to you in, inside of a room would be like the seam between like a wall and a floor. But uh, the line is the intersection of two planes. And that's it for the basic terminology of geometry.